Hi, I'm Anthony for Sydney Backyard Veggies. Uh, there's been a lull in the rain uh, this afternoon, so I've decided to come out in my patch and do a harvest. Uh, the plants haven't been harvested for a few days, and I want to show you uh, what I can end up harvesting today as I go through my uh, through my garden. So now I've come across to my slicing tomatoes, and I'm going to go and harvest now anything that's colouring on these plants. So going to go through now, but before I do that, I'll show you my crop as it is at the moment. Before I come and harvest these tomatoes, this variety is called Thunder on the left and Dunkia on the right. And to bring you close, most of the fruit's been harvested, but I still do have a couple of nice big tomatoes still to harvest. I probably have taken off about 75% of the fruit. So I'm happy with these. Um, fruit flies are starting to show up um, and also the blight's starting to show. But that's fine. I'm still happy to continue harvesting as long as they produce it. And funny enough, they have got some really nice um, uh, shoots here with a lot of new fruit on it. But I'm not sure how much longer these tomatoes will last. But we'll keep them going for as long as I can. And then I'll move them on. But I'm going to come through now and just harvest those tomatoes. They're just beautiful ripe tomatoes. They're looking really, really good, really clean. And this variety, uh, a very firm skin too, so they're really uh, very durable and long lasting in, in doors. So really happy with those. I just finished off harvesting the slicing tomatoes and adding this to the to the harvest today. Got myself probably four kilos, four or five kilos of tomatoes. So taking most of the fruit off the plant, those plants, and as long as they still do okay, they've got a bit of blight going from them. But as long as they still do okay, and I don't see fruit flies in the fruit, uh, I'll keep them around. But um, I'm expecting another three weeks at the most on those plants and I probably would have harvested most of them. So happy I got these planted out early. It's given me a chance to harvest all the fruit before they get damaged. So add that to the lot. I'm gonna go now and harvest some other veggies. So the next thing on my harvest is my cucumbers. Now, again, these cucumbers are almost coming to the end. You know, they've been, they've been producing great for a while. I'm still getting a few uh, cucumbers here and there but generally speaking I'm seeing the end of this harvest for these plants but I will still take what I can I do have a second planting of cucumbers coming through at the moment uh, but until that comes along I'll keep these guys going as long as I can now as you can just see here uh, we've just got the one of these cucumbers here this is I might just pick it off there you go yeah Still doing okay. Look, it's not A grade, but still perfect for, you know, home, home gardeners and home produce. So I'm going to add it to the stash, but I'm going to come through and harvest whatever I can from this, from these two rows. Let's break cucumbers. That's my cucumber harvest. Um, they're okay, considering the plants are almost done, almost spent, that's fine. So, be pulling those cucumbers out in the next two weeks, so whatever I can get out of them, that's great. So next thing on the harvest list for me is my jalapenos. Um, I harvest these once a week, and there are a few big ones here, and I need to get around um, any of the insect damage, so I'm gonna go through and harvest these now, and see how many I can get out of the patch. Before I harvest them, I just wanted to show you again my variety 
This variety is called Jet High and it does give uh, a lot of really big jalapenos you can see right there. Now what I'm seeing is, and I'll show you this one here, it looks okay but this yellowing for me is a sign that there's, um, there's fruit fly damage in this. This has been struck by fruit flies. So I might actually cut this open and show you what it looks like and this is why I come through and try to harvest what I can uh, early. You can let these go red but um, this late in the season I prefer to harvest them green and you can just see the size of these fruit. Now, there's a lot of leaves in there but there you go. Big fruit on these so I'm going to come through harvest these but first I'll show you the damage on the fruit flies uh, from that other one. So I just cut that one open and as you can see this browning colouring uh, is sign of fruit fly strike and if I look carefully I might be able to find the the larvae but yeah what it does is it literally eats the inside out of the plant and makes it pretty much unusable so I, I'm constantly trying to harvest especially now here in late December all my capsicums my jalapenos my tomatoes regularly and early to prevent them from being struck by fruit flies but this one will get fed to the chickens but I'll start seeing what else I can harvest off these jalapenos um, most so far look okay but I'll see if I can hopefully there's not too many damaged in the crop Just wanted to show you these three big ones are just the size of my arm, the size of my hand. Sorry. Yeah, it really grows really big. I think the key is to put in a fair bit of potash fertilizer when you when they start flowering. It really does give um, help them form really large fruit. So I just finished harvesting those jalapenos and got myself a little container. Look, some really big ones in there. Really, really big ones. Um, I have been harvesting these weekly, so there's not as much in one in one batch, but happy to continue taking them on just to keep them out of the way, just to get through this uh, pest pressure. They are flowering again, which is great, and I'm hoping to have continued flushes all the way till May, so really good. Um, glad that's uh, they're doing pretty well still. So I'm moving across now to my capsicums, and again, these are ready to harvest. I've been harvesting these regularly and I am seeing a lot more uh, fruit fly damage on these, but that's not just part of the season. It's that time of year. I have harvested a lot, but I'm gonna continue harvesting, trying to see if I can get ahead of the fruit flies and I'll see what I can get off this afternoon. Now, this variety is called Harley. It is a red capsicum variety, but I generally pick them green. As soon as I feel there's a bit of size to them and a bit of weight, uh, I'll, I'll harvest them. So I've been harvesting these for about three weeks now and I've taken all up about between these these planting which is 10 plants and another eight plants further up the bed. I've taken close to about 60 to 70 capsicums off these plants so uh, they've, been, they've been good. So I'll come through and see what I can harvest out of the, uh, the patch. Just using my snips I'm gonna pick off these two. One. There you go. Beautiful. And then there's this one here, Jason. Perfect. Look at that. Thankfully, there's no, no, no insect damage as such, and it just looks quite blocky and quite heavy, actually, for its size. So I finished harvesting those capsicums, and there you go. I've got a few capsicums in there. I did lose a few to fruit fly. Uh, look, but that's the nature of the beast. But I am, I've taken a lot of the bigger ones off those plants, which is great. I'm not waiting for them to ripen and go red. Happy to pick them at this color. I will continue monitoring the damage and to removing that damaged fruit and feed it to the chickens. But um, all in all, happy they're still producing at the moment. Next thing I need to harvest are my jade bush beans. I've 
painted these I think about two months ago and they just finally started to uh, uh, be ready for harvest. I've actually got a lot of beans in here. Um, they have struggled a bit with the sun. Uh, they have got a lot of burnt leaves. But funny enough, the crop did come through. So I'm going to come through now and harvest the beans uh, that I can. This is my favorite variety, uh, Jade. I was growing Jackson's <coughs> before in the other location, but uh, I have moved over now to Jade and it gives a really long green bean, which is a really, really, really nice, uh, a nice crop. So I'm going to come through and show you closely what it looks like and then I'll come through and harvest it. So this is my bush bean patch. Um, there's five rows here. Um, it has seen a little bit of damage from the sun, as you can see there, it's just been struggling a bit. It's been a really, really hot corner. Uh, even though I've planted it in the um, sh uh, shadow of the mango tree there. Um, so, and also the, I've, I've noticed having a look that the flowers haven't, because of the heat, the flowers haven't all set. But that's fine, I'm just going to press it. I'll show you what I've got. You can just see. Yeah. They're nice looking beans. They're usually they're quite straight and long. And they're really, really nice. So I'm going to come through and see how much I can harvest out of this lot. Um, get all that older crop and hopefully I can encourage it to put in a, a second flush. So I'm going to come now and just work the patch and see what I can harvest. There you go, look, they're really beautiful and straight. I like the size of these beans. Very, very clean beans. Uh, really crunchy and perfect. Really, really love harvesting these beans. So just finished harvesting those beans and I got myself a decent bucket load really nice straight beans as you can see there um, still plenty of fruit on the plants they have been struggling a bit with the heat so a lot of the uh, flowers were aborted but I'm hoping I'm just starting to see a second flush of seedling uh, of flowers coming through so they're still gonna be quite good and I reckon I'll come through next week and give them another harvest and there's still a lot of younger fruit on those plants so I'm expecting another this is probably kilo kilo and a half of beans so I'm expecting at least another half one and a half kilos of beans from that patch as well so I'll go add this to the pile and I'll probably move over now to my eggplants that are behind me so I'll come and show you these so I'm over at my eggplants and as you can see just there behind me I've got six plants in this patch and there's a lot of good looking fruit on these if I can bring you over you can just see that nice fruit um, I have harvested these uh, about a week ago so I'm gonna come through and harvest all the larger ones I like to harvest my fruit on a slightly smaller size so they're not getting too seedy from the uh, inside the flesh um, this variety is called Monocasa uh, it's a variety I plant every year they are normally the plants would be bigger than this by at this stage but I think it's just I planted them in early, late September I just feel that it's been quite warm for them and you, um, generally speaking eggplants do really really well in hot weather but I think this west facing gardens really made them struggle a bit but look the plant the fruit still looks pretty good although I do have a little bit of spider mite but I have been treating that with wettable sulfur and so they should bounce back but I'm gonna come through and see what I can harvest off these uh, plants That's about the size of the harvest, and maybe just a little bit bigger, but this one is starting to uh, get there. Um, it's a really nice golden, a black. It's got a really nice glossy flesh skin, which is perfect. Um, the others, there might be actually another one here that I'll harvest as well. As you can see, oh. as you can see, it's beautiful. Continue on, see what else I can find. Come over this side and I'm going to harvest this one, but I just want to show you something that you should always look out for when you're... When you see, I find when you see your 
plant go that kind of light tinge purple it's gone a bit too far or it's had a lot of stress and it's going to be quite seedy so try not to let your plants you want your plants want your fruit to be a more glossy black like that when it starts seeing it go a bit purple like purple like that that's just a sign that's gone a bit too far and also because it's been touching the floor you can just see the the damage that's happened to the fruit but I'll cut this open if it's not good it'll go to the chickens but just here yeah, I just want to keep it aware of that when you're growing your caps when you're growing your eggplants so let's finish harvesting those eggplants and there you go I got two six uh, five sorry it's quite, they're quite heavy for their size which is quite nice and they're quite clean you can see there's no sign of any real insect damage on these um, these are usually become uh, Babara Noj dip or um, some Lebanese stews that mum cooks up for them so I'll be giving them to mum um, but I'm going to continue they do need a bit of fertilizer so I'm going to go through later on in the week and add a bit more fertilizer to those plants but all in all happy with how my eggplants are going so yeah let's leave them here I think see if there's anything else to harvest before I pack up for the day so I just finished my harvest for this afternoon and I've got a glut of veggies. I've got tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplant, capsicums, jalapenos, cherry tomatoes, and beans. Um, I'm glad I got out when I did. Um, the plants really did needed harvesting, and the rain held off just enough for me to get out here and harvest what I needed. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm um, gonna take a lot of this inside, give them a wash, store them in the fridge, hand them out to family and friends, and. Um, hopefully they can help me out with um, eating these veggies fresh whatever I can't hand away stuff like tomatoes jalapenos they'll get pickled and the tomatoes will get sourced but all in all really really happy we're in that middle summer peak where all my veggies now are online and all been harvested so really happy with that Look, thanks a lot everyone for joining me in today's video I really appreciate all the support and I hope you enjoyed following me while I was working in my patch and I hope to see you in the next one.